Hey everybody, it's Ethan. I'm the West Coast rep for Eddie Line, and this is Nate, and he's in charge of customer service and dealer service here at Eddie Line. And today we're just going to go over a couple of the elements to help you make the best decision for the best kayak for your dreams and aspirations of being a paddler. I'm back here in the corner of the factory, and this is where they store all of the molds that they use to form the decks and hulls that you see behind me. One of the first questions that the design team asks themselves when they're designing a new model is, who's gonna be paddling it, and what's their intended purpose? So we've come up with the acronym FIT, which stands for for you, intended purpose, and type of water or conditions that you'll be paddling in. Under each one of these letters, there are a variety of questions that you can ask yourself, and hopefully you'll come up with some answers that help narrow the search down. We're gonna talk about for you, and we're gonna focus on the F, what makes you you? We're going to start asking you questions like, what's your height? What's your weight? Possibly, what's your inseam? Also, you know, what's your shoe size? That also corresponds to the shape of the boat. Some boats, like the Sandpiper, are designed with more of an open fit, where you're going to sit inside, you're going to have that space that's going to give you a little bit more of a stable feel. Other models, like the Rio, are going to be more of a refined fit, are going to be more of the fit where you're wearing the boat as opposed to sitting inside. That's going to allow you to maneuver that boat more effectively for that types of water um, that you intend on paddling. Another important element of for you is what type of learner are you? Are you an aggressive learner who's willing to have a little discomfort and swirliness day one so that two weeks down the road after some instruction you get all the rewards of wearing a nimble boat like that give you? Or are you somebody that wants that confidence inspiring feel like our Caribbean series or a Sandpiper can give you where you get in the boat and you feel very stable with what's underneath you and we can go have an adventure. The I stands for intended use. What are we doing with this kayak? Are we fishing? Photography? In which case we might want the ability to move around the cockpit. Maybe even like our sit on top series where I can turn sideways in the boat to land a fish. Or are we covering points A to B and we need length for glide, speed, tracking, seaworthiness? All right, now the T in fit for type of water. Um, you know, most of us just go out and they want to have a nice calm day on, on you know, calm conditions. Uh, sandpipers, sky tents, skylarks, great boats for that type of water. You don't need anything too long as opposed to say if you really want to get your feet wet, want to get into some more difficult challenging conditions maybe you really want to test your paddling ability and you want to grow as a paddler then getting into a boat that has more of a refined fit confined fit a boat that you wear but that's going to be long enough to handle some of those rougher conditions when you're out on the larger open water as well as a boat that's going to have all the safety features that you need in those areas as well as far as the dual bulkheads uh, to keep you safe so when you talk to one of our dealers or you're talking to a friends about paddling, you might try to think about that FIT, for you, intended purpose, and type of water and conditions. You don't have to follow the acronym. Really what we're trying to do is encourage a dialogue where you're sharing where you want to go with this and what you want to do and describing kind of your body type and learner type. All of these elements will create a better, more informed purchase for you and it'll help our sales staff assist you in making the right choice.